just wanted to show you the setup now. I've gone back to my two Canon cameras because they really are the best. When you uh, record long sessions on the cameras, they don't divide up the videos and put them other places on the uh, hard, on the uh, memory card. And that's what uh, the two Hero cameras were doing. They, if you went more than five minutes, it would start dividing up the uh, video and you'd have to search where exactly the second part of the video was. And it just wasn't worth the hassle. It took me hours to try to figure that out. And these two cameras have always been reliable. As far as their quality, I can just zoom in. And if I have to zoom in a little further on the uh, video program, I can do that without losing quality. So I've decided to go back to my Canon cameras and uh, retire the two Hero cameras. There's a reason why a lot of people don't use those cameras for their blogs or, or their YouTube videos and they use uh, Sony or other, other cameras because of the damn way they do their videos. Uh, it just irritated the hell out of me. You can't do five minutes or 10 minutes of video and expect it to be all in one piece. It's divided up and they divided up in a way where you got the first part there uh, in one and two and three and then clear back in eight is the last part of one. So I'm just having to uh, rethink it all. This is gonna work fine and I'm gonna get back to work on my clay today. Time to play with some clay. Please like and subscribe. Click the little bell. Thank you. Okay, it's time to work on uh, her dress and try to get that uh, worked out. Something hit the front of her dress here and flattened it out. I'm not sure what. It's all fixable. That's what I'm going to do. Another thing I did that I didn't, uh, I've never done before, is I went through both cameras and made sure both cameras are set on the same settings. I'm a little slow when it comes to things every once in a while, <laughs> but I do catch on after a while. What I'm trying to do now is just indicate body structure under the dress. It just takes a light touch. Nothing heavy, just light touch. Lift the weight of the tool, which isn't much, and just a slight pressure from your hand. Do the work. You should be completely relaxed. All right, I'm uh, finishing up today's video, and I'm putting some Ronsonol lighter fluid on the dress to uh, take out any imperfections in the uh, dress. As I've said before, and I'll say it again because there are people who see my videos for the first time, this uh, lighter fluid melts the clay a little. 
And once I do this, I gotta let it sit for a couple hours because it will take a while for this to evaporate. I basically worked on her arms today and uh, her dress here. Okay, that's going to be it uh, for today. And I'll catch you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.